Hi there, it's uh, Justin Howard Sneed here. Um, I put together the wine list at Chutney Mary and I've uh, been chatting with Preman about a new wine that we've just listed um, and he suggested I made a short film to explain it because it's quite an unusual style of wine. It's called an orange wine. Now you're familiar with red wine and white wine and rosé wine. You probably haven't heard the term orange wine before. Um, so what is an orange wine and why is it uh, something that we should be paying attention to? Well, uh, just recently, some winemakers around the world have found a new technique for making um, essentially a white wine from white grapes, but um, using the same techniques they use to make a red wine. Now, if you remember from some of the wine training you might have done, uh, white grapes um, produce white wine by crushing the grapes, extracting the juice from the grapes, and then throwing away the skins of the grapes, and then fermenting that juice to make a wine. Now, the way a red wine is made is that the red wine the grapes are crushed, but the red wine juice and grapes are kept together and fermented together in a fermentation tank. That fermentation with the skin extracts all the colour from the skin. And obviously with the red grape, you've got a lot of red, uh, dark red, purple, pink colours are being extracted from the skin. Now what winemakers have started doing is actually reviving an ancient Roman technique of making a white wine like it was a red wine. So they started to ferment the skins of the white grapes in with the juice. And that means that, just like a red wine, colour starts to be extracted from the skins of the white grapes. Now, being much paler, they don't have a red colour to impart, but they do produce a darker coloured uh, white wine, to the extent that the colour is almost always um, a golden stroke orange. And so this category of wine is known as an orange wine. Um, now, we've just listed one here at Chutney Mary, and we're very excited about it. It's a, it's a really delicious wine, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Um, you can see the colour, it really is quite a dark colour, probably much darker than perhaps a Chardonnay, which would be the darkest uh, white wine you might expect to, to serve. Um, and when you sniff it, it's really quite an extraordinary smell. And This is an experience that um, you need to have in order to understand what an orange wine is like. Not only do you get um, the same sorts of flavours you get uh, with a red wine, and, and you also get uh, tannins. So. In, on the flavour, uh, when you taste the wine, you can taste quite distinctly uh, the same sort of tannins you get in a red wine. And that's quite unusual for a white wine, and it makes for a very different drinking experience, and means that it um, goes with very different types of, of food. But we think this is a fantastic match for a range of different dishes. And so we put it on the list. We've also suggested that it's, it's uh, something that people might want to try by the glass, because it's quite a leap of faith to try a uh, unusual wine style like an orange wine without having tasted it first. So. We would very much encourage you to um, have a taste if you can, if Preman will um, open a bottle or two at an appropriate moment for you to try. Um, and then if people ask about it or people want to know what it goes well with, then you should be well placed to recommend some of the dishes and perhaps suggest that they try it by the glass. So we've had a, a few things to, um, to try it with and we're pretty happy it goes very well with a couple of the richer seafood dishes, um, particularly this lovely crab and garlic dish and lobster biryani uh, is a lovely match with this. But we're only just discovering, we're only starting to learn um, what different dishes uh, actually work with this wine. Um, it's a very new style, so we're very interested in feedback and um, we'd uh, love to hear from you when you serve it to people, um, what do people say about it and are they going for it uh, or are they find it a bit strange for them. No doubt this is an unusual wine, so it does need a bit of explaining. So I hope this uh, short uh, video uh, tell, telling you a little bit about orange wine um, has gone some way towards helping you understand uh, what the wine's like and uh, how to talk to people about it. I'm just going to describe it very quickly. When you smell the wine, that's quite a distinct, different uh, note. It smells, to me, it smells quite like a um, whiskey marmalade. And something about that whiskey, sort of uh, smoky, almost iodine smell. And then when you taste it, you can immediately tell the the tannin in the wine starts to grip the inside of your mouth, which is very unusual from a white wine. Um, and you've got some lovely notes of almost like, like tea, perhaps an orange pico tea. You know, when you steep tea in uh, the, the water for long enough, you do get a slight uh, grippy tannin um, character from the tea. Um, and often also orange wines have a note of, uh, of ginger, something that's slightly gingery about, about the wine. So these com this combination of flavours, I think, with a, a dish that's very rich um, and uh, perhaps uh, even... Uh, something that's got some slightly smoky flavours would go very well indeed with this uh, this wine. So um, I hope you get the chance to taste it and I hope you really enjoy it. Um, it's the Balthazar Ress, if you can see this very easily. 
uh, Balthasar Ress. Um, it's a Pinot Blanc grape, um, and it's trocken, which means dry. So it's a dry Pinot Blanc orange wine from Balthasar Ress in Germany.